Meet the Mad Max Plotter. Unlike the Chia Plotter that you're familiar with that comes with the Chia client software, this one can use as many threads as you can throw at it. I will release a video shortly with regards to compiling this in Linux and building it in Windows, but you might be asking yourself, is it safe? I normally wouldn't recommend something like this, but because you can run it independently on a system without exposing your private keys by simply adding your public farmer and public pool keys to the plotter, well, I feel a lot less worried about this than things like third-party pooling software from unknown and potentially untrustworthy sources that also require access to your private keys with obfuscated code. <clears throat> okay, so how does this work? Without getting into too much detail when compiled, this fork of the Chia plotter can use as many threads in each phase as you assign it. I've tested configurations with it ranging from 4 to 128 threads, and the resulting plot times keep going down the more threads you give it, all the way to 24 minutes when given 128 threads and some fast storage. The only caveat here is you'll need a decent bit of memory once you start getting up there and the threads to run it should you want to get the most performance out of it. Are these plots valid? I can confirm that yes, they do actually pass filters when checked. So what does this mean for plotting? Well, I think there are a lot of use cases, but today I'm going to highlight two of the most obvious use cases. The first is lowering the amount of wear on your NVMe and flash storage. This plotter has two temp directories, and by this description from the creator, temp2 takes 75% of your writes. So if you can offload temp2 to memory, granted you'll need a fair bit of memory to do that, you can cut the wear down on your NVMe drives by using them as temp1 directories, and you'll only write to them 25% of the time while plotting. Oh, one other thing. Don't get temp1 and temp2 directories confused with plot managers like SWAR. Temp1 and Temp2 directories with this Mad Max plotter are totally different. The next major use case is for those of you who don't have enough flash storage. Let's highlight one of the builds from a previous video of mine to see how this new plotter is helpful. Looking at the T5610 build with two E5 2690v2 CPUs, you can see that traditionally this machine would require a decent amount of flash or NVMe storage to achieve 30 to 40 plots per day, as mentioned in the video. But with this new Mad Max plotter, that might not be true any longer. For those of you who have stuck with the channel and purchased machines with Xeons that have lots of cores, like the Dell Precisions or server-based plotters, you're in luck. This fork of the new Chia plotter can use up the majority of your resources, and the more cores and RAM you have to throw at it, the faster it will go. In this example, you can see that a single plot running on two 300GB SAS 10K magnetic hard drives finishes in 4,383 seconds, or about 73 minutes. This means that in 24 hours, you could do about 19 plots with just two $20 SAS 10K 300GB hard drives. This is the configuration of the test machine the plot was run on, and these were the settings used. You'll notice it closely resembles our T5610 build from this video here. If you haven't checked that out, I highly recommend it. And if you want to grab a system for yourself, you can get the bare bones version of this system from Tech Trade Partners for only $295 without CPUs or RAM. There's links in the video description below. I've run two jobs with four 300 gigabyte SAS 10K magnetic hard drives with these settings. Temp1 and Temp2 in both examples is just a single SAS 10K 300 gigabyte hard drive. The two jobs when run at the same time finished in 84.5 and 85 minutes respectively. This would mean that in a 24 hour period, you could theoretically get about 33 to 34 plots on a single machine with two 2690v2 CPUs and only four $20 10k SAS hard drives. Things get even more interesting when you start plotting against RAM. I think the biggest use case for this plotter would be loading a machine up with memory, not buying any NVMe or SAS 10k drives and plotting entirely in memory. As you can see here, with temp1 and temp2 directories entirely in RAM, I completed a plot on a server with dual 2690v2 processors in 1906 seconds, or 
just under 32 minutes. This 2690V2 system can produce 45 plots per day with no hard drives or NVMe or SSD storage by utilizing RAM in this way. Think about the reusability of this. It's older DDR3 ECC memory. You could plot on this almost indefinitely with zero endurance concerns. This might be a lot to take in, and some of you might fail to recognize the significance of this. Will this speed up everyone's plots? Probably not. Can this get you more plots per day out of whatever system you are plotting against? More than likely, it can. Unless you already have lots of NVMe drives in a single system, and you're already running enough jobs in parallel to keep your CPU close to 90% utilized, otherwise, you can probably benefit from this method of plotting. Let me explain. Let's say you have two one terabyte NVMe drives in a Precision T5610 with two 2690 V2 CPUs. Well, traditionally, you could run about three to four jobs in parallel, each one terabyte NVMe hitting eight to 10 hours per plot. Best case scenario, this would net you a total of about 15 to 19 plots per day. Now let's do the same thing, but with the Mad Max plotter. With the same drives, you could run a single plot on those two one terabyte NVMe drives with all 40 threads and complete it in less than 43 minutes. This would net you at least 33 plots per day from the same hardware. Now you can see how this makes so much sense for people who don't have enough flash storage to get the most out of their system, which let's be honest is probably the vast majority of us. So this makes a lot of sense if you have slow 10K SAS drives, lots of RAM, or if you just don't have enough flash storage to get the most out of your system. There are also other great ancillary benefits to this. For starters, there's no spin up time. I'm sure we've all had to wait for 16 plots running in parallel to hit eight hours before we have any plots. Something we've probably also all experienced is a system crash or system update for those of you running Windows that causes all 16 plots that were running in parallel to be lost. And then the dreaded spinning back up of 16 plots and waiting eight hours all over again. There are quite a few wins here, and I think as this develops, we will only see more and more use cases. I've tried to outline the most obvious ones today, but to summarize, if you are leveraging things like 10K SAS drives or lots of RAM to create plots with the Mad Max plotter, you will get great performance and you won't burn up expensive SSDs and you'll plot long into the future. There are obviously some concerns that this raises around how long K32 plots will be around. I know the Chia team keeps saying 10 years or thereabouts, but if I could achieve a plot in 24 minutes with very little effort, what is actually possible in this space? Only time will tell. Thanks for watching. If you have questions or you want to get more involved, please jump into our Discord. There are lots of helpful people in there, and I post most of my findings there first, so you won't have to wait for me to make YouTube videos to hear about cool things like new plotting software. A link can be found in the video description below.